Hey guys, Adam up here. Today we're checking out this 12 volt 10 amp MPPT charge controller from Alto Solar. Inside the box you're going to get the controller itself, a bag with some connectors, and a user's guide. This isn't that big of a charge controller, but I have a very specific purpose for it and it is going to work perfect for that. So let's go ahead and get this thing connected up and we will take it outside and connect it to a panel. On the left side here, you can see it says input. And on the right side, we can see that it says output. This is good for lead acid, AGM, or lithium batteries. We also have our little indicators here to tell us our percentage of charge. And once we've got it all plugged in, that LCD screen is going to show us the charge state of the battery and how much power is going in. So let's go ahead and get this thing wired up. So for my project, I just need the MC4 connectors on this side and I only need one set. So this is going to plug into the solar panel. Then we're going to have this plug into these little alligator clips for the battery. Should be pretty easy. The wires on the charge controller are already kind of soldered together. So that makes this nice and easy to stick in there. We'll just clamp that down. There we go, nice and tight. On our solar panel, we have this end as our positive. So we're going to take this end as its receiver and stick it onto the positive side. Now that we have those in nice and tight, we're going to put on our alligator clips. So we need to get one of these, put these all the way up to a 90 degree angle. And we will slide them in. You're going to be our positive side. Watch that down. So it's nice and snug, negative. Watch it down nice and snug. Now we are going to take these and plug them in to the appropriate side. Is that enough room? That is not enough room. Okay, we are back at it. I had to extend these wires because that was way too close. So now we are going to take our negative and stick it into here and drop that down and our positive stick it into here and drop that down now we have this side here to go into the solar panel connected and into our alligator clips for the battery so let's take this thing outside and see if it works we are outside now and we are looking at our lawnmower. We have a solar panel here. It's probably, I don't know, 15, 25 watts. And a little charge controller with some alligator clips on it. Right there. That always just says charge. It never says full. And this thing, I kind of need to jump every other week or so. Uh, when I mow the grass. So that charger is not really working. So we're going to replace it with this setup here. This is a 100 watt solar panel that we won about nine years ago from Missouri Wind and Solar. And it has the MC4 connectors on it. So we're going to connect this up to it, hook it up to the battery, and see if we can't get this thing charging. Usually we're going to have the sun over there, but it is still morning. So I had to face the solar panel towards the sun. But look at this. We are getting 3.3 amps. And currently at 14.4 volts. So this thing is almost completely charged. So we'll leave it on here for a few weeks and see if it fixes my dead battery issue. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. 
Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.